Hi everyone and welcome back to Looks and Life. Today I've got a little bit of a different video. I've wanted to work on a project bag for quite a while. To take something that's quite old, quite worn and give it a new lease of life, completely transform it and make it into something new. So I've been browsing on eBay for different options. I found something so I'll show you that in a minute and then I'll talk a bit about how I'm going to transform it. So the package arrived today. This is the bag that I came in. So I'll get straight on with showing you what it is. And as you can see, it is a Mulberry Bayswater. Now, as you can tell by the leather, it is quite dirty, quite greasy. Um, it does need a lot of love. Um, I'll insert some more close-up clips as well, just to show you around the bag. So the hardware, as you can see, needs a little bit of work. There is a bit where the leather has rubbed away on some of the corners, I'll show you the back there as well, so that's come away. Um, on the inside, just show you, there's actually the back plate missing here, the metal bit, so that's something that could be replaced. Again, this suede could do a lot of cleaning up. The inside is, yeah, it does need a bit of a clean, a bit of a sort out. It has a little bit of a old smell, but nothing too, too um, bad. The main bulk of the work, I think, is on the outside. So obviously you see where there's, there's darker marks that could do with cleaning up, where it's got this kind of more black tone to the leather. So I bid for this bag on eBay and I got it for £70, which isn't too bad. I mean, you could use this bag as it is if you wanted to, but I've got a few ideas about how I want to change it up and transform it into something new. So I started looking into companies that do restorations, cleaning, things like that. And where I live in Newcastle, there's a store called Handbag Clinic. So I went in there and asked what they could do for me. There's a range of services they offer, so things like hardware cleaning, um, general leather cleaning, so getting rid of some of this grease and dirt. Um, they actually do as well a colour change service, so they could completely change the colour of a leather handbag, um, which I thought was quite interesting actually. I do like this tan, but it's not something I would choose. Um, if I could, I would love to have this bag made red. I've always wanted a red bag, and I think it could just look absolutely stunning. So I asked them about that and it is possible. So that's something we're gonna look into and I'm really excited to see how I can make this bag look. So I actually asked the handbag clinic if I went ahead with some of these services, could I come down and could I see it actually happen? Could I go down to the clinic, take some pictures, do some videos and they agreed. So I'm gonna to get to go down there and see just how they're gonna transform this bag. So I'll just show you some more details again, a bit more up close, just so you can see the bag before it gets changed. So this is what it looks like, and hopefully it will look completely different. Some of the other services they offer are actually authentication as well, which is really good. Having bought this bag on eBay, you can never can be too sure. So they're gonna do that for me first as well, which is really good. And then it'll be the cleaning up, the degreasing, and then the final step will be the colour change. So the next clips you're going to see is me going down to the clinic and getting to see this bag transform. Hi everyone, so I've just pulled up outside Handbag Clinic now. I'm about to head in and see what kind of stage my bag is at. As you've seen, it's kind of an oak tan colour at the minute. And I've decided to change it to a red slash burgundy, which is a bit different for me. Most of my bags are either black or they are the Louis Vuitton canvas. So I don't have anything in a brighter colour, but I think it's going to really work on this bag. So I'm really excited about that. Um, they have advised that before it can go red, they're going to have to spray it white first, just so it has a better kind of underlayer for the red to stick to. So they've told me that's what's going to happen today. So let's get inside and take a look. Oh, 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 
Hi everyone, so yes, it has been quite a few weeks later, but I'm finally getting around to filming this part of the video. I'm really aware that my hair especially has changed quite a lot throughout this video. It has been a bit of a long process, but I've finally got the bag and I'm ready to show you now. So that old, tired, tan-coloured, greasy bag has been transformed and the new bag is here. And here she is. Just look at that red. It is such, such a lovely red. It's so bright, but it's not too much. It's just kind of like a post box red color. I really, really love it. So as you can see as well, the front there, of the bits that were kind of peeling away have been fixed now. Just show you the back as well. The handles. It just looks like a completely different bag. It is a completely different bag and it's just give it a new lease of life. That was the reason why I wanted to do something like this. Just buy an old tired bag and just change it up and just give it so many more years. So I'm going to be using this now and it would have just been something that someone was going to throw away. So I'm really happy with it. I really love that the hardware looks a lot better now too. Yeah, I'm just absolutely over the moon with this. It's just a perfect little size for every day. I have got it filled now with everything that I need and it just fits everything. So I'm so happy with how it looks. It's just turned out so well. So thank you very much to Handbag Clinic for doing this for me. It's unbelievable what they can do with a bag. It just completely changes it. And yeah, it just gives it a whole new lease of life. Now, one thing I have done is I've looked into putting a strap on this because while I do love it as a top handle bag like this, sometimes it is nice just to have a strap to put over your shoulder. So this style of mulberry, I think it's called the Ledbury, doesn't come with a strap, but there is things you can do to change that. So what I did, I just bought some um, kind of rings off of Amazon. So they just look like this. And what I've done is I've just put it around this leather tab that comes out on the sides here. So they just screw off, there's some little screws there. I've just put it around there and then that just means I can clip any strap that I want to to this now. I could have just clipped something to the leather tab but I didn't want to pull, I didn't want that to kind of wear or anything like that. So it's better with the rings on there so you're not pulling on the actual leather. And then I have went and bought a strap from, I found this company called All About Straps on Facebook. And they do some really nice patterned straps. I really like the kind of guitar style straps that are in at the moment, that Dior and things like that are doing. Um, so I found this one, which is a really nice kind of floral pattern. It's got the red in there. And I thought it would go really nicely with this bag if I want to use it with a strap one day. And yeah, it does look really nice against it actually. So yeah, so it's just black with a bit of red. I'll just put it on there. It is adjustable, so you can change kind of how long it is on you, which really, really helps. Yeah, I just think it's nice to have if you need a strap some days. It's really nice to have the option. And yeah, I just think it looks really good. I think with an all black outfit, this will just pop and the red looks great. And then with a the little guitar strap, I think it looks really, really nice. I just can't believe this is the same bag that I showed you in the beginning. So. Like I said, look out for Handbag Clinic if you want to give your bag a new lease of life. They have so many different services, so I'll leave all the links down below to the website so you can check them out. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this transformation video. I definitely enjoyed the whole process. It's been so fun to kind of take something old and bring it back to life. And hopefully it's given you some ideas as well about things you can do with your old bags. Instead of just throwing them away, is there anything you can do to restore them? even sell them, pass them on to someone else who might do something with them. I think it's a really great idea um, to kind of stop fast fashion and yeah, just be a bit more sustainable. So I hope that's given you plenty of ideas and I hope you enjoyed watching this video. But just to remind you as well, my blog, it's actually changed its name from looks in life to luxury in life. It's still all the same content, all the same kind of things you can find on my blog and on my Instagram. It's just the name has changed slightly. So I'll leave all the links down below and thanks again for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.